Hey guys, got a code for this a little while back. I think it was back during when I was doing the infra playthrough or something. Going in pretty blind, uh, puzzle game, yes. Uh, might qualify as an escape room game of sorts. From the trailer, there's some implication of some level of sinister ongoings uh, in which our level of complicity is not clear. Uh, not a horror game, I don't think, despite the horror-ish music and creepy ruins going on and everything. We'll see. if you succeed. Oh, and one last piece of advice. Pay attention to everything. Looks like I may have been right about the escape room part. First piece of advice we get is to do... to figure out how, what? Uh... Okay. Uh, my mouse was not bound to the game window, and I'm like, why can't I turn my camera? What's going on? Let's do a quick check. Whoa. Are there subtitles? Do 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 Nope. Gonna have to deal with that, I think. Alright then. Oh, there goes my mouse getting unbound from the game again. Is that gonna be an ongoing thing? Is it because we're in borderless window mode or something? It says we're full screen. Weird. Okay, so sometimes the mouse gets unbound from the game. We'll just have to watch out for that. Uh... Okay. Isn't that interesting? There appears to be, is there a glass? Is there a crouch button? Okay, C is crouch. It's not a toggle. Two glasses here. There's cabinets. Immediately it becomes clear there's a bunch of portraits around that have these symbols on them. I feel like I recognize that one. It's not just letter M, right? It's the other thing. There's waves or something. Okay. We have four portraits. Uh. Well, that's indicative of what to do with that one, I think. There we go. It's a lit candle. It's helping to light up the room. So I think I'm right to think that we're probably not complicit in this. We're probably not up for what's happening. That camera is following me. That's creepy. Uh, the only thing that made me think that maybe we were in on this was actually the title of the game, The Initiates, and I'm like, oh, so it's on where we want to be in this, supposedly? There's no power. The cabinets don't open. You need to oil up that hinge, dude. It's noisy. Oh, the arrow's pointing to the bottom left. Is that going to be the core puzzle for leaving? It's just these guys? Might be, might be a little easy. It's a black leather sofa. Looks comfy, but I have no time to rest now. Our character seems uninterested in... Our character seems uninterested in the shirt. 
We can turn this on or off. Is that cable going through the wall? Is that a cable? It might, not, it might not be a cable. It almost might be something really weird, like the room rotates or something. But that one's a cable, right? But what are the cables for if it takes such a weird path through the house? Seems like bad wiring to me. A photo of a tree. I think there's something inside. Can I dump it out? There's cracks all over it. That's a really unfortunate sound effect, by the way. I'm trying to point it at the camera, but I don't know if I can. There we go. Oh, there's not like, there's not an opening. Can I hit it with something? Vase. This one's not making noise. It's surprisingly hard to rotate. There we go. Because it, like, it likes to spin. Okay. So if I, if I get something that lets you break something, I could use it on that. Probably. What's in the bag? Press tab to use inventory. I have zero things, but now I have that. The first is told. What's the next step? This game is escape room as hell so far. I wasn't sure if that's where we're going with it, but it seems like we are. A woman's red shoe. Can I, I can jump with a kind of hilarious sound. Okay. Esid shipping. You gotta keep an eye on the walls for any more sketches that indicate portrait directions. We should have two more to go. The owl figure rotates. Okay. That's the same shirt from the other room, I believe. We have batteries if I want th What? Okay, I think it's implying that I can use a key to open that if I want to. It's opening my screen like that. Oh, no, 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 I want to look in the hole. Ah, ah. How do these axes work? How do these axes work? They're really weird. Okay, I almost feel like there would be something on the bottom there. So rotate it so it's facing this way. There we go. No, there's nothing in there. I'm thinking that kind of... Oop. Departed 4. I'm, I'm gonna start writing that down. Let's see. There we go. Already had my notebook ready in advance. The fuck? Was that leaning forward before? I don't remember. All I know is that... Departed four. Four could be a code. We have a code for the door. And so it could be that departed. Maybe maybe there's a phrase, like a passphrase, that'll indicate an order. And then maybe the word departed is correlated with four, and maybe I'll find a passphrase that has the word departed, and I can correlate the timing of where it is in the phrase with the number four and whatnot. So that's a guy walking in the snow, it looks like. This is a guy walking on a road. Is that gonna be a theme? Ah! It's for the greater good. You'll see. Just shouting at me in the quiet. The art book? The American art book, I think it says? Color index. Sixties style, modern women. They said look at everything, so I'm looking at everything. Just a random picture of the opera house from Sydney. My name is John Johansson Bellow. I almost said Jonathan Blow. And I have been taken against my will. I do not know who my kidnappers are, but they have trapped me in this room. Why are they doing this? 
If you are reading this, then please, I implore you, find my family and tell them I love them. I truly fear for my life. Jonathan Bellow. I'm going to write that one down, too. Now, Johansson Bellow. There we go. Johansson Bellow. Just in case. Can I look in the mirror? Nope. Mirrors don't work in video games, you silly boy. Just sort of tracing the walls. What is this? It's hard to make out some of the visuals a little bit. I wonder what happens if I turn off Bloom. Will that help? Uh, that'll make it a whole of lot darker. Whoa. The bloom is kind of important, apparently. Especially in a game that seems to have no brightness setting. No. So bloom might be pretty necessary if you want to be able to see in this game. Holy crap. I don't know if this game uses the same definition of bloom as I usually think that of. Okay, there's something here. Am I supposed to be able to see it? Oh, it's a speaker. You can see that it's a speaker, just barely. I can see the dots. A rocking chair. There's an assortment of clothes here. I don't need any. What great paintings say, Volume 1. One, two. One, two. Hey! Look at them rock formations. That's familiar. So, for those that don't know, what's really interesting whenever you see something like that is that all sedimentary rock, and most rock in general really, is deposited horizontally. So if you see it at a weird angle like that, that means that all of Earth there shifted in a direction, which is crazy to think about. It takes a very long time. Usually. Welcome, Initiate. You are about to embark on a journey of great discovery and enlightenment. One that will b bring about fantastic change in your life. There have been many before you, and there will be many after. I know you must have many questions. All in good time. The path to enlightenment is a treacherous one, and not all make it. Please remain calm and, collect and collective. Your life may depend on it. Uh, depend on it. You let, you let the trial begin. Great, so we've been kidnapped by some sort of cult. And uh, they force you into this, and you might die. So that's great. Thanks for that. That's kind of a cool visual. The, the tree branches divided from shelf to shelf. No power. Still need to find power. Oh yeah, little little thing too. By the way, the reason why there's different layers is that the uh, the composition of the sedimentary rock itself is changing. At, during different times, different eras, different centuries, what and so on, of, at, during which each individual layer is being deposited originally. Each one has different colors because of what's in it, and they might even, uh, they stick more in or more out based on how uh, readily that type of rock erodes. I already found that one, right? And so the, the more easily it erodes, the, the uh, further in it'll be, and the harder, the more resistant it is to erosion, the more it'll stick out. Often that often that boils down to its uh, quartz content, pretty much. It's a vehicle enthusiast magazine, not my thing. I don't care if it's your thing, I'm trying to live. I'm not sure who these belong to, they look clean enough though. So we, we do have subtitles in this game, they're just not for the dialogue. Okay, so it looks like the O should be- the circle should be in the top left. If I'm to- if I'm to go by that. Okay, now the question is, what will happen if I just do a full rotation of this thing? I heard that. Did I ever try these drawers? I didn't, did I? 35 millimeter. Is this game made by the people that made 35 millimeter? Or, I assume it's millimeter. I think I got a code for that game, too. <laughs> I just haven't gotten to it. There's too many video games. Are these other covers of games? I'm pretty sure 35 millimeters is a video game. I think... Where'd that sound come from?
It was right when I heard it. It was like a, it was like a lock sound, basically. I thought it came from this drawer, but it could be from anywhere else, probably. Or maybe it was that door closing. Why was that closed? I didn't do that. Can't move the shipping containers. The plants, these are likely all in their correct positions because those, the other three all had symbols indicating which way they face. And then this one, I rotated all the slots until it did. Oh, this is it, isn't it? This wasn't open before. Great. I have figured out the last two digits of the key code. Now, if I can only find the f the fist two numbers, I will be free of this godforsaken room. The first two numbers must be around here somewhere. The last two digits are eight and six. Okay. Something something eight six. Probably four, I'm guessing, is one of the numbers. Let's write, uh... Blank, blank, eight, six. Just give me something to work with. Who's leaving these notes is the question, right? How do you find out? And also, how do you find out two digits of a code? So I imagine that... Creepy. Are there just random creaks that happen for no reason in this game? That I should just learn to ignore? Anyway, let's go back to that key that I definitely saw earlier, but just didn't pick up because I was in the middle of talking about something. Good, you have a nice shiny key. Shame it's not for the locked door that imprisons you. Well, aren't you a patronizing gobshite? Alright, you. Hello, Initiate. Let's start with an easy one. There are several pictures in the walls that can be turned, really. <laughs> the solution to which can be found all around the room. I hope you have a good eyesight. This will teach you a valuable lesson to keep them all, to keep them open at all times. Remember everything you see, and with that, good luck. Boy, thanks for that. Is there something useful in here? There. It, oh, great. Thanks. Okay, so that key was supposed to get let you solve that puzzle I already solved. How about that? I can I can click on these batteries, kind of. In that it doesn't count as being the drawer. Maybe they work towards the flashlight? Or maybe not? Yeah, it's a speaker. Departed for... What does departed mean? Is there a series of books where one of them is called departed? Architecture by Ching. Impressions at home. Conversations with architects. Interiors now. Why do... Whenever I look at shelves in video games, I feel like they're always covered in like design books and stuff like that. Da da, Ben Nicholson. I don't think this is gonna work out. Helvetica and the New York City subway system. Well, that's a very specific subject of book, and that's a surprisingly thick book for such a specific subject. There's a whole document on Netflix about this, the font Helvetica. Huh. Let's check the other bookshelf. No. I was hoping for the word departed to show up. So they're a little hard to make out because some of them are really, really, really small font. I'm like under here now. Winter. Spring. Summer? 
Fates or an Autumn one. Sort of taking guesses, more or less. Feels like they're trying to beam an annoying noise into my head. Still don't have power. Let's follow the, the plug. Can I go plug it in somewhere? They, they go like under the walls. How does it even work? Well, I thought I'd go plug them in or something. Have I opened you yet? I think I did. Notebook? Blurg. Notebook. That's it? Just a notebook exists is all I get? What do I do with the notebook? Departed. Where's the word departed? For the sake of context. That is unreadable. Hopefully that painting's not called Departed or something, because then I'm gonna be a little behind. Can I open this? Is there a controls menu? No. Just making sure I'm not like forgetting, like missing that you can like, like uh, do something in those situations. Like a uh, interact button and open button. Okay. Let's just do a guess. Uh, 86. Let's try 0, 4, 86. Four, okay. The first is told. What's the next step? I took first literally. The first is told. Did he say that? Did he ever say a number in his messages? We have no power, but that thing's on because I guess I guess it's just batteries. Departed four eight six. 35 millimeters likely not relevant. Why? How do I break you? I hit E, I hit F. I lack interaction with that object as far as I can tell. Can I go into the bed? There's something hidden under the bed. Nothing seems to be in the window. Never found that hammer I was hoping to find. And these cables are still weird. None of them go to outlets. They all just go under walls. Window does not open. There's a plant. Size 38 sneakers. Size 38 sneakers. Is 38 in the code? We should make it 4386. No. Alright. What number can I try? I suppose we could just try 3836. Or 3886. Oh, there it goes. So I was trying to include what I guess were apparently extraneous elements. Because it said departed four, so I was like, okay, four must be part of the password. And then I saw 38, and I'm like, okay, 38 might be part of the password. And 86 was already part of the password, so I thought maybe the 38 and 86 were the same eight, and four was the other digit. So I thought that binding 38 as a single, as a combo, and 86's combo meant that it had to be 386 in that order, and we knew that the, it was the end, so I figured it'd be 4 first, 4, 386. But no, it's just 38 and 86. 
Alright, that started off pretty easily. We'll keep Departed 4 around for later so I can use it if needed. Is that a watch? What is that? No, that's just that's just part of the structure of a candlestick holder, huh? It's not working. I'd explain why it's so cold in here. This might be where things open up significantly. There's a lot of rooms around here. Cabinets open up. These books are backwards. It's the exact same books that we saw on the shelves in the other room, but they're all backwards as if to could be because they wanted to hide what was on them, and it could be that because they want maybe wanted to hide that they're duplicating the same books, or it might just be because it only fit in the shelf the way they wanted it to when they were backwards. Pretty common thing with indie games is just the really heavy reuse of book assets that they have in the environment. Book volume N added to inventory. I just grabbed a book. Rope? No? I finally made it out of that cursed room. It appears that my kidnappers have a twisted mind. They've instructed me to complete a trial. What is that all about? I don't even know why I'm writing these notes. I doubt anyone will ever find them. I guess I have no choice. I must complete this trial. What's that? Is the game trying to sort of acknowledge how this note makes no sense? <laughs> Unless it was literally left by... It makes... It, it almost... It only only kind of makes sense in the context of like a funny escape room setup of like, ah, we're making escape room. Ooh, spooky notes that help you. Which makes me almost wonder if this whole thing is supposed to be just me as a human being playing an escape room in real life. And there's actually no stakes at all because I'm just playing an escape room for fun. Bothers me that the rope won't get added to my inventory. It feels like a rope would be useful. Mission Beach Big Bay. Yeah, that's a lot. Petco Park. Okay, is it like a tour list? So that's how you save. Oh. Does the game even autosave? I haven't had an indication of an autosave. Alright, we'll keep that in mind then. B and A. I'm gonna take that as a clue. B plus A, drawing it in a heart. There we go. Just in case. I'm gonna have some really chaotic notes at this rate. Wah! Jesus. Bright flashlight. Snake. We can call that the snake room, it would seem. Snake. Fish. Wolf. Lion. Just in case, snake, fish, wolf, lion. There might be a lot of pausing and send writing stuff down as we go, just in case. Never know when something might be a password or something. Revolve. This one's not making noises. So it's worth noting that I can still go into the first room. So if I find a way to break something, I can still go back there and break it, hopefully. Oh. The hidden message. I-I-I-T. N. This book looks like part of a set. This book is in volume N. So if I find the rest of the set, I can find the hidden message, which is... Oh. Initiate. I N I A. Wait. I N I T I A T E. That's probably the, the password. <laughs> do I have to get them all together to spell the word, or do I just add, type it in somewhere? I wonder. Or maybe just putting the books together is the password. And maybe, maybe it doesn't matter that I guessed it already. But it's definitely initiate. A red candle's been added to my inventory. Oh, we have to be a thorough. 